Hi there gorgeous, my glam child Jaja here. So today's video I'm going to show you a collective haul that I made during the last month of March or I think um, last week of February to the whole month of March. I'm actually very excited about the lipsticks because as you all know Fashion 21 just released a new line of lipsticks called Pink Obsession and I've been obsessing about pink lipsticks over the past month so in general I just picked up items that is very appropriate for summer Oops. very appropriate for summer as you all know that we don't have springtime here in the Philippines is actually from actually we don't have winter so I don't know what it's called from the cold season of December to January until the like, like first week of February and then transitioning to March is like transitioning to summertime summer season so yep I am most excited about the fun colors um, appropriate for summer and yep let's start I got a little bit crazy on the lipstick so this is the pink obsessions line of fashion 21 and I've mentioned in my last um, favorites video the shade I think that's dream girl and I absolutely love that and so I picked up a few more which is baby chick and hot diva some of the shades of this um, lipstick line is kind of similar so I just picked up the nude one which is the dream girl and I picked up two more that looks like this so this is like a deeper color than the dream girl um, do a little swatch so yep, uh, deeper color than the dream girl, but still a natural pink. And the next color that I picked up is called Hot Diva. And it looks like this. This is the deepest shade of pink among the line. So looks like this. It actually reminds me of the lipstick that I have called um, Revlon Color Burst in the shade Fuchsia. This shade might actually be a dupe for that and this is only 155 pesos each and I've tried the Dream Girl and I've been loving it and actually the the quality is very very good. It's creamy, it's moisturizing though I'm not wearing it right now but Yep, um, Hot Diva and Baby Chick. So the next thing that I picked up is this Jazzy Collections Kiss Proof Lip Gloss. So this is in the shade LP07. And I thought that I'd purchase another shade because I lost my other Kiss Proof lipstick in the shade LP06 and it's the nude shade among the line but this is just um, a kind of rosy color and this is actually the um, lightest shade among the pinks in the collection I've done a review on these um, kiss proof lipsticks if you want to check them out I'll just link it down below but this one is this shade it actually is kind of deep considering that this is the lightest shade among the pinks um, in the collection but I actually really like it it's again 299 pesos next thing I picked up is another lipstick I know I'm bad but this is in the shade 511B. It's um, wet and wild. Um, I don't know what line this is called, but um, I 
actually like this more because it's moisturizing. It's this very pretty pink right here. It's not too deep. Um, it's kind of in the middle of the lightest pink that I picked up, which is this uh, baby chick. And uh, Hot Diva, it's kind of in the middle shade of that. So another pink, so pretty, I love it, it's so moisturizing, and yep, I'm obsessed about pink lipsticks. Oh, did I mention how much this is? It's 119 pesos. So yep, another thing is a lipstick from Nichido. I know I've been bad. I've been crazy about lipsticks, but yep, this is only 100 pesos. I'm actually on a hunt for a really pretty nude color and this is just a nude kind of brown the shade is pink a uh, nude pink still has the name pink so I'm like nude pink kind of has a a shade of brown or an undertone of brown but on my lips it's very very neutral um, shade of nude and I love this and moisturizing lipstick it's only 100 pesos so I think you can't go wrong with that so moving on with another lipstick line is this um, brand M & Co or M & Company I've actually been eyeing on these lipsticks and I actually want to try them out and so now I picked up two shades. This is Candy Pink. And what's this? What's this shade called? Blazing Coral. So the lipstick looks like this. It's 170 pesos each. So not bad considering that if it's a high quality lipstick then 170 pesos is actually not bad so this is the packaging right here I actually like it because because it's black it's actually very sleek you can see the shade right here and so yep the shades that I picked up is candy pink of course gotta have that pink <laughs> gotta have that pink color so it looks like so this. yep this is the actual lipstick and when swatch candy pink very pretty pink actually has a warm undertone to it and so I love it I love pinks with warm undertone or golden undertone and the next shade is called blazing coral and of course because it's summer coral color is very very in right now so I love this this is the swatch right here it's actually a matte um, finish and this is kind of a um, creamy uh, I'm loving this shade I actually got to try the color or I got, actually got to um, wear this already and so far I've been loving it and I am going to test it out more so that I I can do a like review on these lipsticks so moving on to the next item is this <laughs> bronzer that I love it's the wet and wild color icon bronzer in the shade goddess okay so if you watched my previous video then you know that I featured this and I've actually hit pan on it already and so I kind of panicked because this is one of my absolute favorite um, bronzer and I picked up a backup of it. This is actually the last piece on the Wet n Wild, uh, Wet n Wild counter so then I had to get it. The next things I picked up is blushes. So I picked up three blush from Caroline. It's the Oil Control Blush On, and I picked up three shades, which are Pinkish Blush, Peach Glow, and Touch of Pink. And the reason why I got these blushes is because I watched 
um, Femma's video. Yeah, she is Pinky's Rice Girl here on YouTube. And I actually like her so much. I watch her videos. And she have mentioned that Touch of Pink... I'm not really sure if this is it. I think this is the Touch of Pink. And she's, she mentioned that it's her dupe for her Max blush in the shade Well Dressed. And I know Well Dressed is such a famous uh, color, um, famous shade that um, YouTube gurus love here. And yep, gotta have it. So moving on, I purchased a bunch of nail polishes because, well... I love nail polishes and I picked up colors that are very very appropriate for summer, summertime. These are from OMG called Oh My Golly Nail Colors. The first color I picked up is a blue, it's called Jive and this is the color. Really really pretty blue, I love it. Next is called Prom Queen and it's just this beautiful lilac color, very sweet. It makes my hands look more whiter and so yep, very very pretty color. The next color is called Mojito. Mojito and it really reminds me of Barakai because every time I go to Barakai I order mojitos and I love their mojitos there so this is just a like min minty color this is one of my favorites next is called stro this is the color it's actually a silvery clear um, glittery on top shade or on top color And the last one is just a clear one, so it's called colorless. So the next item that I picked up is a brush. It's from Eliana, or what's this, Eliana. And it's this, um, how do you call this brush? I don't know how you call this brush, but I'm actually um, trying to find a dome-shaped brush for my contour and what I found close to it is this brush right here it's only 350 pesos the brush looks like this it's not dome shaped but it's pointy like that and so I thought that it's still good for contour I actually really really like this brush because it's synthetic it can do pretty much um, whatever. So the brush looks like this. It has the brand name there, Eliana. And this is the brush. So I love it. It's so soft. The bristles are very dense and yep. I have yet to try this and I am sure that I will be love loving this brush. So the last few items are all about skincare and it's all from Garnier or Garnier, not really sure. But I've also uh, mentioned in my previous uh, video that they were having a buy one take one sale. So I grabbed the opportunity and bought um, some uh, essentials that I love from their um, from their brand. And so the first one is this multi-action this multi-action whitening cream and of course I've mentioned this in my previous favorites video that I consider this as my primer and it is only 140 pesos so for a buy one take one of these it's like actually 70 pesos each and what a sweet deal so I got this. Another thing I picked up from Garnier or Girl. How do I really say it? Garnier or Garnier, whatever. But this is the Pure Active um, Spot Treatment, and this 
this is the anti imperfections cooling roll so i love this product i actually feature this in a lot of my favorites video and it's my spot, spot. <laughs> it's my spot treatment for my acne for my like zits every time i have zits or every time i have pimples so i need this in my life this is i think 229 if i'm not mistaken so 229 pesos for two not bad so the last one is my holy grail product at least i already consider it as my holy grail for my under eye concealer so this is the bb roll on um concealer it's the instant fairness bb eye the instant fairness bb i roll on and i <laughs> product and i already considered it as my uh, holy grail for concealing my under eye circle so it's only 229 pesos for two pieces of these and what a sweet deal i mean i'm very 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 happy I'm beyond ecstatic that they were having that sale oh my gosh my voice I'm sorry so again this is a collective haul I didn't purchase it all at once I don't have that much money but yeah I'm really really happy on the things that I got if you want me to do a video or a review on any of these products let me know see you again in my next video and thank you for watching bye bye gorgeous